The Houston mayoral race is heating up. We've got the latest. She was a front runner, but now Kamala Harris has plummeted in the polls. And U of H gets a historic financial gift. The story is coming up. Hi, I'm Rashonda Tate Billingsley with your weekly Defender News Wrap, where we bring you the biggest news stories from the black community. Allegations are being leveled from Houston mayoral candidate Tony Busby against Mayor Sylvester Turner for using the Office of Business Opportunity to provide contracts for his friends. It's a claim the city vehemently denies, saying the OBO follows strict guidelines and processes. And it certifies MWBEs but does not choose vendors. Contractors must go through a procurement process. We have a feeling this election is about to get even more down and dirty. HISD school board trustees Rhonda Skiller and Jones and Jolanda Jones are leaving the district drama behind and will not seek re-election. Skiller and Jones represents District 2 in Northwest Houston. She's running for the Houston Community College Board of Trustees. Seven candidates are vying to take her spot. Jolanda Jones, who represents District 4 in Southern Houston, has been extremely vocal in her displeasure surrounding the board. Four people are running for her spot. Despite a pending TEA takeover, the election takes place in November, and if necessary, runoff elections will take place in December. Kamala Harris continues to plummet in the polls. She was down 12 points from June to August, according to a new CNN poll of Democrats about 2020. Harris's number rose after the first presidential debate fell to just 5% compared to 17% in June. The other candidates are treading water with the exception of Joe Biden, who rose, but it's early, so the polls could shift. It's Darren Wilson all over again, a fundraising campaign to support the family of a New York City police officer fired five years after the deadly choking of Eric Garner is picking up steam. A GoFundMe page for Daniel Pantaleo has been shared thousands of times and raised more than $250,000. The Trump administration's proposal to push millions of people out of the federal food stamp program would punish some of the country's neediest, including children, seniors, and people with disabilities. So mayors from 70 American cities have sent a letter to the government. Under a new rule proposed in July by the Agricultural Department, more than 3 million people would lose their food assistance. The mayors say the move would also hurt their local and regional economies. Mayor Sylvester Turner is among the mayors who signed the letter. An anonymous donor is giving the University of Houston $50 million, the largest monetary gift in its history. The money will go toward the university's Here We Go fundraising campaign, which had already exceeded its $1 billion goal. U of H said the donor has challenged the university to match the gift, which they will. The money will be used to establish four new institutes in the areas of energy, infrastructure, precision medicine, and global engagement. It will also create endowed chairs across the university. Impact is preparing to remember its executive director, Gary Wilkins, who died recently. They will host an old school house party. Check out impact slash arts.org for more details. On Friday, August 30th, the Let the Fashions Begin Incorporated will host its 20th annual Men of Substance Gala announcement party. Later that day, the HBCU Battle of the Bands weekend kicks off with the Step Show taking place on Friday. On Saturday, the Emerge Experience will take place with the HBCU Battle of Bands and Sunday, the big event takes place at the NRG Stadium. Also on Sunday, Hymns for Him Now Concert with the Ministers of Music Extraordinaire and the Defender will take place at New Faith Church. Check them out and if you have some events you'd like us to share, send it to us at news at defendermediagroup.com. It's a wrap. Make sure you're following us at Defender Network on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And join us here next week for all your Defender highlights.